Well, one of the things that we're really proud of here at the Academy is, is the amount of packaging that we offer our students. We have four levels of packaging. Uh, packaging one, they really learn about materials, uh, terms of dye lines, that means uh, how they would relate to a form of a package. So that's real critical in the first stages of packaging. This is more or less the behavior of a package than say a print piece on a table like a book. They have completely different behaviors. So in a packaging one and two, it's really a fundamentals of packaging to understand how it's going to behave in the marketplace. When you get to packaging three and four, these are two classes that are really tailored to not only the marketplace but understanding brand behavior. One of the particular projects that I pitch for the students in Pack 3 is what we call co-branding or cross-branding. And this is where a lot of companies, and I'll take one for example, is Target Stores where they hired Michael Graves or Philippe Stark or even Todd Oldham to actually develop and design products that would work in a packaging environment. So this is really about now. It's looking at packaging today, how consumers are buying products. And one of the things that I really respect greatly is what Walter Landor said. And it's not the package that sells, it's a brand that sells. So one of the things that I really ask the student to do is almost, I become more or less that, that company. It's, it's pitch me why I should maybe take my brand. Over and above, designers have to be responsible. They have to think about how big that package may be or how small or how it'll work or operate on shelf. Even think about the actual production of it. What's the cost factor? So I play out a lot of roles in a room in, in Package Design 3.